What is the worst thing that a coworker did and still avoided being fired? Stole a bunch of Mark tools, they were painted white. Showed everyone in the shop pictures of his deer with said tools in the background. Gets reported, boss calls him on it. He said you got me, I stole a gallon of white paint. Never heard the boss laughing so hard. Year later or so he gets promoted. Worst coworker ever was the credit mooch. He would constantly horn in on other people's projects, getting his name added to them to make it look like he was doing shit when he actually not. If people tried to assign him any work on said project he would have a personal emergency or a virus would make him lose all his work or his schedule is booked with other project or the worst, he would pull some sucker in to help him with it, and said sucker would end up doing it all in utter frustration. Because he was so good at stealing credit, he managed to get top marks on his reviews despite doing absolutely zero actual work for the company. I know at least four people quit due to this guy getting better raises than they did. Far as I know they never actually got rid of him. After already being disciplined and essentially demoted for doing his job terribly, my coworker drunk texted all of our managers in the middle of the night asking why they didn't love him. It's been about two weeks and I haven't seen him since, but he's not gone. Not the worst thing he could have done but I cringe thinking about it. Had a co-worker as a standard business practice falsely condemn furnaces in winter to pressure homeowners into buying new systems and pad his commission check. I couldn't do anything as I had no direct proof, but he would joke about it all the time. It did finally catch up with him when one customer smelled BS and called other companies with advanced testing machines. Took those results and sued the poop out of him. I ended up working for that second company and haven't looked back. Guy at my wife's old job was brought in because he was really good at selling the services they provided. Proceeded to send dong pics to the women at work and solicit nudes from them. Women said to stop or they'd take it up with management and it subsided some. Solicited nudes from a new chick who asked my wife about it and my wife went to management with everything and said this guy's out or I'm quitting. Well, she quit. Guy's still there but most of the original female staff has quit. As an assistant manager at a Valvoline instant oil change, I was dealing with an unreasonable customer that had just spit at a female employee that he didn't want working on his car. He didn't know that the guy under his car was her boyfriend. The guy comes up the steps, grabs an oil gun, and starts pumping 10W30 all climate into the guy's window as he's frantically trying to start the car and roll up the window. The employee was reprimanded pretty hard, but it was understood why he did it. No charges were filed, the franchise owner paid a lot of money to have the guy's car cleaned. Had a boss storing pictures of himself in only his wide open bathrobe on company servers. It was reported to HR but wasn't fired for it. Later he was arrested as part of an undercover sting where he thought he was meeting a 15-year-old girl about 500 miles away. The images were stored in a shared folder used by a few employees. The guy was our IT manager so he should have known better than storing them there. Assuming the pictures were taken using a work camera because digital cameras were very expensive at that time and the company had a few. Before he left for the weekend to meet the girl he had asked to use the digital camcorder I had for work. He told me he needed it to make a video of his home possessions for insurance purposes but I was suspicious of that so I told him I needed it for work. We found out he was arrested when he called the computer room collect from jail. This was later in the evening when he no-showed for work that day. We didn't accept the charges but called back later to see what he was charged with. At that time we were told solicitation of a minor but the whole details came out later when he was on the local news station. It was winter time and she was helping a customer by carrying something they had purchased out for them. Once outside, but still on the store property. She slipped and sustained an injury. Was threatening to sue the business and was also trying to claim workers' compensation. Came into work every day with a sling on her arm and constantly wincing and being in pain. HR and the store manager call her into a meeting, sit her down and show her the video surveillance from outside, which she obviously didn't know was there, showing her faking her fall. I don't know everything but she got called out hard and she broke down and admitted everything. For some reason they kept her on. She then tried it again like six months later, this time claiming that a customer had something from their card hit her or fall on her or something. Again, tried to claim workers' comp and had this whole show of being injured. They pull up security footage again and disprove her injury slash claims. She still wasn't fired. Full-on harassment. Little backstory, 
I work in a private country club style dining slash banquet event space. A drunk on the job manager pinned an hourly server against the wall during a nighttime wedding reception. She punched him in the ribs and tried pushing him off of her. We all saw it. We all reported to HR. Another manager physically removed him off of her. This was about four months ago and he's still in his position. She quit due to him telling everyone she'd lied about the entire situation. HR rep found out about a person's elective surgery and made fun of her with a former employee. Let me recap, this person knew about an employee's private medical information, because she worked with our healthcare plan in her role as HR, and shared that private information with another person for the sole purpose of mocking the employee. She was not fired. One of my former co-workers, she's since been fired for stealing customers' lottery winnings, told an elderly woman that she was stupid for not knowing how to pump gas. This woman's husband had recently passed and he had always pumped the gas for her, so she never learned. I had horrible second-hand embarrassment when the woman came in and told us, we relayed it to the manager. My company tried to fire a guy for farting on a customer site. Essentially he did some shady shit and actually fire able offenses but HR decided to let him off with a warning. I think they quickly realized their mistake but they had already signed off on the first issues, so instead they tried to get him on anything they could and that ended up being, farting while working at a customer site. I work in a medical marijuana state. One guy neglected to check a dry room for a few days assuming all was well. All was not well, at all. The dehumidifier crapped out while the plants were being hung to dry and sat in a warm, dark room for three days before it was someone else's responsibility to check it. By that point every single plant was coated in mold and we had to throw out a little over a million dollars worth of product, side note, I had never done the math to see what he cost us until now and am mad all over again. His only punishment was to be denied moving to day shift but other than that it was forgotten about. Telemarketing co-worker was very obviously a psycho or sociopath. Showed up late every shift by definition, had quite a temper with authority, but would often just cause trouble out of boredom, by his own admission. The most controversial thing he did one particular day was address every client he spoke to by the N-word. Once the manager heard him, he yelled at him outside for 20 minutes and that was the end of it. A week later, this co-worker denied it had ever happened before going on a tangent about how he liked to start arguments with his girlfriend just to see her cry ducking sociopath obligatory not me but my wife she had a co-worker that literally punched a customer wasn't fired he later got into a physical altercation with another co-worker wasn't fired then he wrapped my wife's hair around her throat and play choked her still was not fired finally he got into yet another altercation with a co-worker and pulled a gun on him all while on the clock then he was fired a co-worker jumped out from behind a door at my husband, who is a disabled combat veteran with PTSD, dressed as if he was from the Middle East. He was literally trying to trigger a flashback. No repercussions, as he was the boss's friend. Two weeks later, he fell down some icy steps and broke both legs. Karma took care of that one. I work at a psychiatric hospital and we had a patient who was blind and who was admitted for drug-induced psychosis along with visual and auditory hallucinations. At my hospital we only accept the people who are an immediate danger to themselves or others. When a patient first comes to us they are put on a check sheet meaning every 10 minutes a staff member needs to see that the patient is breathing and safe. But sometimes we need to do a one-to-one, one-to-one, -to -one, meaning a staff member needs to be with this person at all times, either for their safety or the safety of other patients. We also have little body alarms and floral alarms for patients, mostly geriatrics, who are unsteady while walking and need assistance. These devices let us know when they get up so we can assist them. So anyway the blind patient was on a one-to-one -one and was taking a nap in their room. The staff had a laptop to do some charting while sitting on the one-to-one. -one. Well this staff member put the laptop on the floor, left the room all while neglecting to hook up any of the body or floor alarms. While the staff member was out of the room our patient got up from their bed and tripped over the laptop and face planted. Another staff noticed and we ran down to take vitals and make sure the patient was okay. Thank goodness the patient wasn't injured, but we were furious with our co-worker for leaving. Their excuse was they needed to get some paperwork they had been putting off. In the end this person didn't get fired but did get a slap on the wrist. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.